Beautiful, we're, we're, we're alive. Thank you. So hi, my name is Paula. We are going to start very shortly. For people on YouTube, you're going to see just a little bit extra here at the beginning while we wait to go live on the hour for Facebook as well. So I would just get yourself settled and ready for giving yourself some time. In fact, we're actually going to go live and start in the next few seconds. Hi, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Spring Forest Qigong Live Every Day. My name is Paula Robinson and I live in New Zealand. I am a Spring Forest Qigong teacher and practice group leader. I take practice groups each week live in person in my hometown and we also record them for people who live some distance away. And I teach level one chi activation. I had to think about what I teach then. You have to excuse me. Myself and cameras, I'm not quite au fait with cameras. So I do get a little bit like, oh gosh. But I do teach and very proud to teach level one chi activation class. I've actually got a class on this weekend. But if you do want to go look at anything that I do, please visit the Spring Forest Qigong website. You'll find me on there and contact details. Or you can find me on Facebook, Paula Robinson, or you could even email me, paularobinson9 at gmail.com. Any questions through Facebook or email or other is more than welcome, and I will try and answer any that I do read. So thank you so much for that. The weekly practice now, I'll be with you for the rest of this week and for the five days. We'll do one element per day with this, but at the end of each session, before we finish, I will be showing you a sequence from the Chisage course that Spring Forest Qigong offer. So I'll do some of it today, tomorrow and day three, and then on day four and five, we'll put that whole sequence together. And it is an extremely beneficial sequence for the whole body. So it's worth staying with this. And it's, it's a great one. So today we will be doing the moving of yin and yang. It's the first element of the five element practice that we do. The move is associated with the liver system and the color, if you wish to introduce a color, is green. Now the emotion for moving of yin and yang is happiness. We introduce, for those of you very familiar with the Qigong, we introduce an emotion with each move. For those of you not familiar, you're gonna love this. But just a little bit on happiness before we get into the practice, because the more awareness we have of what we're doing and why we're doing can really help enhance your ability to strengthen that chi flow of that emotion. So happiness, you know, what do we normally do? We go and seek happiness from outside, you know, from, from around us, from other people, other events, circumstance. Okay, I'll be happy when they do this. I'll be happy when I get there. I'll be happy when this has happened. I personally will be happy when I've successfully done my half an hour with you. So when we're finding this happiness from outside, how long does it really last? You know, does it last long for you, an hour, a day, a week, longer? It's not really permanent, is it? And it's something that we have to rely on that external source to provide for us. So even as soon as that source ceases to be happy, we cease to be happy. We practice in Spring Forest Qigong how to cultivate and create our own happiness, despite what's happening for you within your life. We create it from here, from within. And it's a happiness that does not depend on other circumstance or people. It's yours to call upon whenever you wish. I think of it like the, um, there's that saying that some of you, most of you may be familiar with, give a man a fish and feed him for a day teach him to fish and feed him for a lifetime. 
get your happiness from other external sources, it's short-lived. Learn through Spring Forest Qigong and the techniques that we show you and share with you how to cultivate your own happiness and it's yours for a lifetime, no matter what's happening. So talking of that now, let's go practice and bring in the happiness together. So if you want to stand, ideally, as Master Lin always says, there's good, better, best. So if you can stand and move, and I definitely would, if you're only able to sit, then please, you know, stay seated. And you can even do this lying down. So once you're standing, just bring your mind into your own space. This is about you now. We're all here together. The energy is just going to be so immense, even in the recording. But this is still about you. So check your feet. How grounded are you? I'm really happy that my feet feel so good on this ground. Go through with your, your knees, the soft knees, the hips are relaxed. My shoulders are relaxed. And my chin is tucked back to align my neck with my spine and my spine is lengthened to allow the space. My arms are held away from my body and my hands are in a very sort of circular, almost holding a ball shape just by this side with my fingers apart. So we start our Qigong, we activate the chi. So let's bounce. Bouncing is, to, I love it. I, I find myself bouncing in all sorts of places and times, frequently at home. It is so good energetically and physically. So you bounce from your knees. And yes, if you've not done it before, it can feel a little bit sort of awkward, a bit silly, but enjoy it. Start to enjoy the freedom of what you can do for your own body physically and energetically. Allow the knees to bounce, the body to stay relaxed. Just enjoying and observing and staying within your body. Your thoughts wander away, just bring them back to observe the knees and the body. And you continue bouncing, just raise your hands above your head. And as with any Spring Forest Qigong move, if you have a physical limitation, you know, maybe you can only raise one hand at the moment, maybe you can only go this high, then do that. Do the best you can. Remember, good, better, best. But also remember, you're looking at your physical body and what that can do. Your energetic body can do anything. So if you do have a limit and you say you've got one hand up, look at me or visualize yourself with both hands up. And enjoy the fact you have the freedom to do this with your energy body. And your physical body will love you for it too. So we start to just bring our hands down as we continue bouncing with the knees and swing now the torso from the hips side to side. Let that head follow left and right as the arms happily swing and the knees continue to bounce. This is so good for releasing any blockages and just enhancing that chi flow through the spine and the hips and the neck and the shoulders. And you bring that to a very gradual stop now. So the knees, and the torso and the hands. Now really feel how your body feels with your eyes closed and no distractions. The more you practice, the more you start to feel the change in that energy within you and around you. That's the chi activating. That's your chi strengthening. So let's now just do a little bit of tapping. So we're just gonna tap using your middle fingers on the point where your cheekbone is directly under the eye pupil. So let's tap on here. This is great for helping the meridians of the stomach and all the meridians on the front of the body right the way down to the feet and all the organs 
that they pass through. Now we're going to tap at the beginning of the eyebrows. This is your bladder. This is really helping activate that chi and clear out blockages through the bladder system and every meridian going up across your head, down your back to the base of your feet again. Two simple points covering so much. And allowing the hands to come to the side. I like to start my preparation with my hands in a prayer position. If you have a preference to start in the beginning of the universe position here with the hands separate and the fingers apart, then please do. Because now is the preparation, and this is so important, connect with your heart space. And you connect by simply thinking about your heart. And smile. Start my internal love engine. I think my mouth and my heart are connected together. The moment I think of my heart, my mouth instantly smiles. And that's what the practice of Qigong does for you. Invite your master's energy, whoever that is for you, to come and help support you and enhance your own ability to heal. So call in your master, see them stood in front of you, whether it be universal energy or God, Lao Tzu, Buddha, and accept the gift of the healing energy that is shared with you now to enhance your own ability. You see your lower dantian lights grow and extend into a column of light in the torso from the base of the torso to the top of the head. And if you feel that visualizing isn't your thing, you just intend and know that that's happening. You say the password, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I, we combine together. And we set our intention for the breath, the ever so important breath, as you breathe in through your nose and and out through your nose now, through these moves. Imagine and intend that the breath is coming in through every single cell of your body and gathering in your lower dantian. And when you exhale, it exits the same way, but you visualize the ends of the universe as the air hoofs out to the ends, it's gone from you, and it carries with it any imbalances or pain that you carry in your body. You set your intentions. You have your breath, your heart space. Separate your hands now, bringing that right hand to the top of the torso, the left hand to the base. Fingers are apart, hands are away from the body. Again, just feel into this. So your shoulders relaxed, your knees are soft. Connect your tongue to the roof of your mouth. This helps the switch between the two main meridians. Feel into this posture. Rushing into moves is not the most important thing to do in this. It's feeling your way through, enhancing your chi. As we begin the move, you allow the right hand to move outwards as the left hand travels up the body and the right hand starts to drop down. Bringing that left hand now up towards the third eye, upper dantian area as the right hand reaches the base of the torso. And simply move the, right, the left hand out to give the right hand space to move upwards. So you're using this very beautiful, gentle, circular motion with your palms, cleansing and clearing the meridian, the two main meridians of the small universe within your energy field. You may start to feel your palms activate or heat or temperature change or tingle or another part of your body. Allow that and smile and know that your chi is activating and strengthening. You may not feel anything. That doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. 
it's still all happening and helping you. So we bring in now the most important element, the key to the healing, the body, mind and spirit. Invite the emotion of happiness. And you can do that in any way that suits you, that works for you. You might prefer to think of a memory where you were happy. You might wish to make up a story. Where would I be happy right now? What would make me happy right now? And go and, go and enjoy that story. Allow yourself to bathe in the story and feel the happiness it creates. Or maybe you have a busy mind today and that's fine. So let's occupy the mind and you can just repeat the word happy, happiness, happy full, happy, happy. You can say the intentions that happiness is flowing into me and filling me up. I feel happiness in every breath. Even if you don't, use your mind to focus on the intention, which is to attract the energy of happiness. To enhance the feeling of happiness. To help heal and balance the liver system and your body, mind and spirit. So I'm going to leave you now for a few moments in your gentle rotation at your own speed, enjoying your happiness. And if your mind wanders, that's fine. That's what we've trained it for many, many years. We've trained ourselves to have a busy mind. It takes practice. Give yourself the grace of time and practice. Just gently bring your mind back. Be happy that you've noticed and that you can choose to focus and refocus back on your intended emotion right now. Combining this move with the posture and the breath and the focus on the emotion is a very, very powerful thing that you can do for yourself. And now in yourself now, just another rotation of your hands, staying in your happiness. Knowing that you can just return to this and practice this anytime you wish to build up your link to that feeling and that emotion. Just allow the hands to drop to the side again, leaving those elbows away from the body, the fingers are apart, the tongue is still connected. 
and feel into the body, feel around the body. Start to learn to feel yourself around the outer part of your skin. To pick up on the sensations and the changes that happen for you as you cultivate your chi. And to take one or two breaths now as we harvest the chi. And as you start to rub your hands together, interlacing the fingers, bringing the light within the torso now down to the lower dantian into a ball, spinning the ball faster and faster as it becomes smaller and smaller. And you tuck that small energy pill right deep behind that navel. As you continue to harvest the chi now and we massage the face, so you start at the base of the nose, massage the face upwards towards the forehead, connect all four fingertips and draw down to the chin and start again at the base of the nose. So you're drawing this beautiful heart shape on your face and all the meridian pressure, acupressure points that end in the fingertips and are on the face are actually benefiting every one of those meridians. Just cup the head, so get your hands in cups, sort of a cup shape. You're going to cup from the front of the head to the back, to the nape of the head. I'm going to massage the ears. So if you've not done this before, just grab the tops of both your ears and massage all the way down and then grabbing the lobe and giving the lobe a little bit of an extra tug as you get there and start again at the top and down. So you're massaging every organ in your body just by massaging the ears. Let's just put our left arm out now and cup the right hand. We're going to cup from the shoulder, just beneath the shoulder, down on the inside to the wrist, turn the hand around and cup on the outside back again on the inside on the outside and we just swap like this and finish on the outside, swap over to the right arm now, cup in on the inside again to the outside. And then still having the arms cupped and you finish on the outside, we're gonna cup from the collarbone down the torso to the base of the torso. Whoops, sorry, I'm cupping the microphone there. <laughs> and then Loose fists, so you have your fist with a flat part here, and just then tap this tailbone on both sides. Just bend the, the body forward a little, that helps. And this is a great move to do if you've been sat down at a desk or in a vehicle for a long time. Really helps with the kidney vitality center. So if you're feeling good, that's awesome. Take a seat or you can stay standing. Standing. I'd just like to show you these points. It's the first four pressure points on, the, on this chisage sequence. So the first one is the left arm. We start with left arm, always. There's good reasons for that. Come on the course, find out. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on there. So much information, it's awesome. Bend your arm. And you only bend it to actually locate. You know, when you bend your arm, you get this slight line here from where it's sort of like flesh and bone to where it becomes that muscle and more flesh here. So this is just being used as a guide. So go along where that ridge is and maybe about an inch, inch and a half in from the elbow. There's a, a soft, a softer spot there, you know, right on the bone. So you just massage put pressure with your thumb or a finger, whatever works for yourself. And you just massage that in a circular way. So you're not doing big circles, you know, you're staying on the spot and just giving that circular motion with good firm pressure. You might feel it's a little bit tender. And if so, keep going. So you just massage that seven plus times and then release and now come down to the hand where the V between thumb and index finger. So we've got the V here, the fleshy part, and just where the bones meet, you're gonna stay on that flesh, right in the V, and you're gonna massage here. I normally use my thumb. I sort of feel like I have to twist 
like a pretzel to show you that way. So do it this way, there we go. You can use your fingers. So again, same again, just a small rotation around seven times. And then we go flick to the right arm, do exactly the same thing. Find the same spot on the right arm, massage the area. And look, if you're worried, if you, am I on the exact area? Oh my gosh, I might not be near it. Don't worry, honestly, set your intention to be on this spot. And if you're close, that's fine. It will still help. So once you've done seven there, come down to the V and we go again in the soft part where the bones meet and just again, massage there. Now, each of those spots have got very good benefits independently. You can do them individually, but they are both excellent for body pain, pain anywhere in the body. So those four, we'll do another four tomorrow and then a, a sort of finishing sequence, a finishing part on, where, on the third day. And we'll put the whole thing together on, on day four and day five. So tomorrow, because our time is up already, <laughs> it's just flown past. So tomorrow um, we do the breathing of the universe, which is a move connected to the heart system. And it's the emotion of joy. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I really look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you so much.